Hello and welcome to MyGP Cloud. In this video, I'm going to go through the chart of accounts. We're going to look at posting type, adding accounts, going through the mass modify tool, and we'll look at the account format uh, as a whole as well. I'm going to click on the financial homepage. And as I look under cards financial account, this will pull up the area that has your account maintenance window, which is where you enter in your accounts. I'm going to click on the magnifying glass here and show you the pre-populated accounts that are already in the system for MyGP Cloud. And I'll just choose the first one here, cash and checking. Uh, the account has an 1100 main account and then two different segments with different digits here. The description is a required field, listed that in there. A category, which shows you all the different categories that you could select for this uh, type of an account and the posting type and typical balance. Those are the required fields in this window. The posting type is probably the most critical thing here. If you list it as a balance sheet account, this a GL account will roll forward with the beginning balance for the, the next year after a year end close. If you list it as a profit and loss account, it will uh, roll everything in to the retained earnings account when you run the year end close process. If you want to add a new account, you can click on save and then add your account in here manually and make sure that all of the other fields are listed appropriately. Now if you have a few minor changes to the chart of accounts, you want to add a few accounts in here, it's easiest to do this in this window. If you want to add this uh, accounts with a, a big group of accounts, it's probably easiest to go through the mass modify tool. I'm going back to the home page here and dragging this down a little bit and choosing mass modify. So if I choose the copy function here, and I want to copy all of, let's say, revenue accounts, 4,000, 000, and I'm going to copy all my 4,000 accounts, which is my revenue accounts, and I'm going to hit selected range here. It will choose all of my 4,000 accounts, and let's say I wanted to add a segment of 001. I leave the question marks in there on the other fields, on the account mask, and I put in that 001 and if I hit modify it will add a whole set of accounts to that so you don't have to add those in individually. Another thing you can do with the mass modify tool, let's say you wanted to start from scratch instead of using our predefined chart of accounts, you can hit delete and if you hit modify it's going to delete all of those accounts out and you can start from scratch. Now if you start from scratch, just be aware that you're going to have to rewrite the financial reports in Management Reporter. That would be your profit and loss uh, report and your balance sheet report. If you're using the predefined chart of accounts that we have in the system already, we already have those uh, financial reports developed for you. Now if you wanted to change the account structure to be a little bit more uh, robust, adding a different segment, we'll go through the account format window. So I'm going to close out this window, go down to administration, the administration home page, go under setup, and if I pull this down until company, I'm going to look at the account format window. Now here you can add any account length here, you can change that to 15, you can add segments here, you know, to 4, and then you know, let's say we added that to 4 and change this to 15. This will allow me to change the account structure here and I can add another segment. You'd want to make sure your main segment stays the segment that will have that main account there. This one was segment 1. You can even change that to say main if you'd like. And once you say okay that will change your account structure then you'll have to change your uh, the GL accounts listed in the system. I would say the majority of the businesses that I deal with uh, use a three or four segment chart of accounts. If you get much more than four, uh, say five or six or seven different segments, the account structure becomes very complicated and millions of accounts can be created with that. Some companies like that, most simple businesses will stay with a three segment chart of account as we have listed in our uh, predefined system.